So this is a little um, visit to a different area when you go to the Eastern Shore and it's the Oyster Village Horse Island Trail. And it even has parking for the handicapped person. And you can go on this just to here though, because after that you're gonna have to navigate the steps. There's just a little out and back. That's what we're gonna do. So that you're rewarded after your little walk by a rope swing. And I could even do it in shoes like this. <laughs> and I, it's all shells, but if it's high tide, it's likely you won't be able to because it's a little bit, um, it could be a little bit wet for you. But yeah. This is uh, the eastern shore of uh, Virginia. And it's a place where you come if you love nature and you don't need all kinds of hubbub. You just want really good seafood and friendly people. Yeah. I love the silence and the song of the sea house. And there's a swing for everybody. swing which I'm not into and this one and there's even if you if you're brave enough you can climb the tree <laughs> I'm not doing it <laughs> looks like this has been a playground for a while for kids it's neat huh yeah. worth the little walk So this is where we're staying. We decided to have a nice little brewski as a way to uh, watch the setting sun until we go out to the marina. And right across the street, we have some fine arts. So this is 11 Main and watch a pipe. You can tell. Alan Katz sent you. Pick up some points for me so I can get a free stay. So you have your own little walk combo. And it's really quite pretty and spacious. You can't see it. Yeah, you can. Ta-da! So I'm not going to go straight into it. So I'm going to go outside for now and enjoy the outdoors while the sun's still out. And you're in the water break. So upstairs is somebody's apartment, pops, or the owner's son. Quarters. You can tell Alan Cat sent you. Rack up some points for me so I can get a free stay.
northeasterner does. Water and this beautiful view. The last scene in that video is of the Island House restaurant, and it was phenomenal. My ex is pretty toasted. That's the scene you just saw. <laughs> so those were bloopers. Instead of them bloopers. I, I do, including that last relationship. That was a blooper. But I learned a lot, and I, I finally unhooked from the, the arousal jack, the trauma bond. And then I finally found out my narcissistic um, partners and my inability to have my needs met through a relationship have all come from my programming as a child. But now I'm at the next level, which is coming into my own. And so... Uh, hence this video. I am uh, enjoying making them and thought, all right, well, let's get started and doing something I am passionate about that also has uh, some cheekiness to it. So there you have it. I I'm not a professional filmmaker. I just put this together because I, I was like, wow, I actually have video that would um, be a nice little travel log. And uh, to journal it by putting my photographs together and then making outlines and then writing about it. 